radio on the International Space Station. Yeah, so we have about uh, 650-ish kids, um, a bunch of other people that came to watch, um, but then we also have our Ham Tidum group, which is our amateur radio group for our kids, um, and we had uh, a number of us that were involved in that as well, too, and then getting everything put together, and then getting uh, Prince William County in order to come and set up all of the audiovisual stuff, which would have been almost impossible for us to do. <laughs> Uh, this has been a year-long process, so our application was accepted at just about this time last year. Um, so we found out a year ago that this would be our contact, um, and all along we've been planning activities for the kids to do, we've been planning um, fun things for them to do and fun things for them to learn. We've had facts on the news every morning so that they could learn a little bit about the space station. They've asked questions, um, they've answered some of their own questions, they've done some research, um, and then obviously just the physical setup of the room today in order to make sure that we had everything that we needed and make sure that we could talk to all of the amateur radio people that we needed in order to get everything put together and then on top of that the fact that we only used one radio and one antenna but we had to double the whole entire system because if anything had happened and didn't work out the right way then we would have had to switch to our backup station. I thought it was uh, 